Hello everyone. So, if you haven't seen my desktop layout within the last little bit, you may notice a few new games. And this one and this one are paid games that I did not pay for. Because as it turns out, you can link two accounts together by just entering your password on another person's account and then if they go over and be like, hey, can I play your games? Like, you have to be in the same Steam family. Which, if you're in the same Steam family, your accounts can be linked. And thus, you can play their games for free on your computer as long as you download them and they're not playing at the same time. So this is Enter the Gungeon. Yeah, dog. The way this works is there's four different starting characters. You had the Marine with his pistol and his helmet and all that and the different items. Then you have the pilot who has a handgun, a bobby pin for unlocking chests and then different stuff. The convict which has two weapons and a Molotov got the looks like a small revolver and a shotgun then the Molotov and a wanted poster or the hunter a six shooter a crossbow and a dog now the hunter is pretty dang good and I'll show you why here in a little bit actually right now you have the rusty sidearm which is just an old six shooter it's not that great this is a one shot for the early enemies and dog Faithful Companions finds items on room clear. The way this game works is you can right click for a roll when you're moving which lets you jump over bullets and of course we entered the gungeon. So you go room to room fighting off enemies with your weapon. You have different items and passive items you can shoot and you can reload very nice and this is how it works you have these guys here you can do that uh-huh I didn't expect to get a mini boss room right here I don't think he's actually a mini boss but I think he's called the guardian or whatever and basically I don't know if the music is copyright so I love the music, but I'm not risking that. Hit E to flip over a table. You can move them. These shield you for like two or three bullets. Very nice. And you can do this. Mm-hmm. Go from room to room. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the music on. If I get a claim, I get a claim. Maybe not that loud, but... Uh-huh. And sometimes they just appear, walk out for the running grenades. And as you go, there's different items, chests, guns. There's a merchant you can find. You can gain health, but it's really annoying. And if you hit tab, all these are different teleport points. Okay.
Okay, the rubber guys don't have any way to hit you, but they just kind of bounce at you. We got a key, ammo. Yep. When you get hit, it's like half a heart at a time goes down. So it's nothing too bad, but. And these guys are annoying because they teleport and they have an assault rifle on them. Nice. And it says there's something cool in this room, but... Oh, that could just be this. Cool. Heck yeah. And you pick up items. I have no clue what this one is, so... Sprun. Transforms into a powerful weapon under mysterious circumstances. Um, <clears throat> Alright. So since I don't want to have to walk all that way, we'll just teleport. I think it's an unlimited amount. Also, if you hit Q, these are blanks, which kind of explode or into like an area of effect around you. Darn it. I didn't even mean to hit Q there, but it just happened like that. The grenades are annoying, but You usually cannot leave the room if there's an enemy in there, but... What? If you find the boss, you can just choose to go ahead and do the boss, but it's, it's really a lot better just to go ahead and... Kind of... Just explore every room you can unless you know you could get damaged I don't claim to be good at this game at all but I know a little bit on how it works so these are secret rooms right here and you have to be on the other side of the door to unlock it for those rooms dynamite people are way worse because they airdrop you well, air strike you Where's the merchant at? Got the boss room. Of course. Ah, the merchant. Paro. Take an armor. And usually I would try my very best to assault him. I like that. He just goes at it, but there's no real way to... You just get teleported back out of the room, he leaves. Now this is an awful idea for everyone, but like, yeah, I did it anyway, so that's cool. Then there's this guy, I don't know what... I don't know what he does. He wants something, but I don't know what to bring it. And of course, we have three hits. No weapons at all. 
Now there's, I think, three different bosses it could be. Like, for first room. You're kidding me? So, mega screwed. Yeah, there's just about nothing else we can do here. about that's a bit better refuse to lose never had this one before so it's Gatling goal yes sir he's not too bad I haven't beat him yet but then again I haven't played long I beat the Bullet King, which is another boss, but... Shoot! Does this thing just not shoot at all? Oh, it does. Nice. I probably should have been using the crossbow. We'll try that again. The hunter has a lot, like, more limited options, but, like, like, she's very, like, good with the crossbow. Tables. Nice. Can we dr drag tables into other rooms? Oh, we can. I don't know why these birds exist, but... I like the sorcerers, they annoy me. But... Yeah. 
Oh, I don't like these guys. Those are a great example of why the crossbow is very useful. What's this now? Shot grow. We can work with it. Yeah, dog. A lot of shotguns are very weak, depending on the circumstances, but they can also be strong as heck. Okay, this one's uh, pretty dang good. Get out. Go. Die. Wonder how good that is on the boss. I don't know who's texting me, but I don't care. Oh, so it just kills them dead, huh? What's wrong with this book? I don't like the grenade guys. They annoy me. But, ooh, merchant. Also, if you kill the merchant on one floor, he'll just leave all the floors. So, like, you won't even get to do anything. Lovely. Okay, who's texting me? I don't like it. Cool. Okay, this shotgun's amazing. I've never had a gun this powerful yet, so this is great. Refill all that now. Also, you can shoot chests, and you can break them, but they'll just turn to junk. So, not that great. And it turns out the poison will just kill them dead. I, I don't even have to worry too much about wasting ammo. I can just like go ring around the rosy and just wait for him to die. Perfect. I think we've explored almost every room, right? Maps aren't too big, so like, should be one of the last. Yep. Alright, have at the. The Bullet King is the easiest. Um, oh, what? Oh, the twins. One of my friends who plays the game told me these are awful. It's only really bad because you have to worry about two. He said to just focus on like one at a time. Yeah. 
You're kidding me. That's some BS right there. That ain't nice. Let's return to the breach. That's what this little area here is. Try the convict, I guess. That's the tutorial. I don't think you can play the tutorial again. Where am I? Oh, we're at the stairs. Okay, cool. Wrong place. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Trash. Alright. Time to enter the gungeon once again. Get it because it's a dungeon and all the enemies are guns? So funny. Absolutely awful start, but... We do have a sawed-off shotgun, as all good convicts should. Good thing I'm playing like an absolute noob. Awful play. Wonder what the achievement for this game are. We might as well just die, right? That was an execution right there. That's amazing. I wonder if there's an achievement for just dying on the first room you enter. I wonder. So let us die on the first room we enter. Nope, no achievements. Let's go back and choose a real character. What does a marine do? we have more defense because like we have a helmet on oh we have like one armor that's nice Uh, 
I don't know why these guys are even here, to be honest. Okay. We can definitely work with this. Unfinished gun. Says it barely works. Works to me. We'll come back to this, maybe. Oh, it just shows us our weapons right there. That's cool. So since we're the marine and we have like better accuracy with all of our weapons, this also implies that this gun is wildly inaccurate. Like to the point where it barely functions as a, as a gun. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this. Merchant, yet again. Nice. Da -da -dum -dum. I could have bought a key. I could have. Lovely. What a lovely side quest. What does this do? Oh, it just calls in ammo. Okay, that's cool. That's the boss. But we have so much more to explore. Oh, great. This is an awful idea, just because of how awful I am. Terrible. Despicable, one might say. I don't care anymore. Just take me to the boss. Gatling goal again. So much plant life to eradicate already. Already calling in an airstrike, huh? Well, at least he's taking care of them plants for me. Get out. I rolled. I did. I really did roll. That's lovely. Hmm. How far have we been going into this? 30 minutes? I really do want to get a dub. 
Right, like... What's this guy's thing? Um, active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. You can unlock more characters, which I actually do want to know how to do, so... Oh, that's... <laughs> what awful spelling. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. That's amazing. Episode, I'm going to explain to you guys. Uh, get to talking. Busted television. I believe this only spawns in on floor number two, and all you have to do is drop down the elevator shaft to get it. So I have been carrying it all the way up here, and if you dodge roll with the busted television, it drops on the ground. So you have to remember to pick it up each room. Otherwise, the rat will come and get it. Also, yeah. you can throw it. Cool, cool. That's amazing. Can we just... Play as Paradox, kill the last phase of Lich. Uh, you'll restart with the Gunslinger. Wow. What an, like, annoying system, I guess. I know there's no way for me to do it, because I'm not very good at the game. Okay, so they flinch when you shoot them. Not you. You too. And I just now realized that I could have used my blanks during the gun goal fight or whatever his name is. Mm-hmm. When you're in a big room, this guy's a joke. I think all these rooms are procedurally generated. a gun right there we're just wearing a crown gun you're kidding me
We have junk. What does junk do? Just some junk. We'll not waste our crown gun ammo. Which I'm sure won't be a problem to just roll around with during a boss fight and just forget what you're doing. There's no way. I guarantee you'll just get lost in the sauce and just forget to dodge a lot of things. Just because so many things are just on the screen. There's no way to aim. You just do. That is so fun though. I could just go ahead and do it. I have full health and everything. I will take extra precautions entering this room. Unguard to thee. What's wrong here? Just a little bit up. A little bit more. Come on, the table's there, man. Push it. Annoying me. You're kidding. Behold! That did nothing. Yeah. Ooh, nice dodge. Yes, the grenades can blow each other up. This calls for crown gun. I could find a really unique gun throughout all these floors, so I, I might as well. Not floors, rooms. What's up, man? Litchy trigger finger, what does that do? He angry. Yeah. I think if you're out of his line of sight, he just won't fire. So how long can we just keep this going here? I know if we... Okay, we have to fire at him first. And I think there's literally no way that he can hit us like this, so we're good. Oh, I wonder if you're supposed to get to the item before he presses the trigger. Well, presses the, uh, whatever it's called. The panic button. Maybe I should have gotten the knife shield. Who knows, I'm gonna just go for the boss, though. Gatling goal. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Stand near him.
My main focus is just on dodging him. Got him though. Woo! Take that, take that, take you, some cash. They, they just ate his corpse. Lovely. So do I get a free pass on everything else now, or also? What does the hammer icon mean at the bottom of this? Oh, it's called the hammer. Okay, cool. Oh, at the very bottom. Yeah, at the very bottom of the cliff, there's literally a hammer. Blank sends enemies flying. Okay. Perfectly fine with that. Of course, I ain't got no key for that. So, like, there's literally nothing for me to do here now. Yep, so we'll just kind of... And, of course, we don't need a save. We'll just head down the floor, too. We'll just keep this run going forever. Since we're just so good. Also, let me go back. Yeah, there's literally no way to get back on that. I don't know what those are. Well, they cannot be good. Oh, I killed him. Get out, get out, go. I'm sure we'll find an ammo renewer later. Get back here, key person. Oh, I'm empty. That's just the boss room right there. What in the name of Cripes? Oh, it's like a mini boss. Bombs away, okay. Also, yes, this is a roguelike, so you respawn at the very, very beginning. Yeah. A lot of people don't like roguelikes, and I can kind of see why. Because you like you lose all your stuff, but it's perfectly fine. Because it's uh it's made to be like that. I think it literally tells you too. But, that was a good run, or seven, I don't know how many we did. But, with that said, this has been Dream Master, and I'll see y'all next time.